she can float around all day and never get tired. Crick! Huh? Did you hear it? Sunshine! Blue skies! Good vibes! Right? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice... Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? My dear partners, see, I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. It's just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me, happy lantern rite. Happy lantern rite. voice we heard. <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You That or your voice is just really loud. Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And Buell Fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps. But the act of shouting was very meaningful and that's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the va- <laughs> Exactly. You- I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here and they said it was fine. Apparently most hikers... So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, speak for yourself. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Hmm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. <laughs> anyway... Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any... Oh, I bet no need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? In Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain... Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And... And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the... Ah, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about... Uh, so you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalette on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so... What? Nervalette was here too? What was he doing here? I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only... S mm. Nervalette is not the type to take much time off. Taking... Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to... My situation is completely different. I'm here... You Fontanians in your tea drink. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have... It was just a... Ridesley gets really invested in that, so you could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side... Uh, if only he was that easy going when it... In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <sighs> Please, 
Do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Ah, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here. Oh, that's right. Who tell? A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village. So we decided to come and... Oh, dear. We've been chatting for... <laughs> we should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here. So... Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up and... Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later. Look what we have here. Chowing Village is known for its tea, but you know what else they have with tea? Didn't Gumming say something about dim sum? Be oh, well that's fine too, but now let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Wonder what they're talking about. Hmm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farino about Chaoying Village. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being... Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meropede. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Since Zhang Li is there, it's decided that Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. All right, no time to waste. Good afternoon, Hotel Zhang Li and Farina. Oh, great! Now Paimon's shouting too. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. <laughs> that we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with... Oh, um, looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhang Li. Ahem, uh -oh. I must admit, I am a bit... But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled. And since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern rite. It appears you have been to Fontaine, then. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Uh, that's quite high praise. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery. <laughs> and there is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. Ay, yeah. You're no common tourist. I simple. Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? 
not have heard, friends, but... Uh, <clears throat> Miss Su Tao... Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients! Uh, uh, uh. Yep! <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Uh huh? What's this about winning something? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend. M that I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess, then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Ah, by newbie, you mean... If that's the case, then Paimon's guess... Oh, that's right. M <laughs> you see? Paimon, since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or... Hey, don't be upset, traveler. How about this? You buy Paimon a and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Uh, as for the third bull... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge... <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in... Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? I... Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Park... Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. of a funeral parlor and all. Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular! In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned... Hey! <laughs> that's pretty good! I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees that ma So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangsheng? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli, and well... You it was a fated meeting indeed. Zhongli sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all... Who? Oh, who what? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? What? How did you guess that on your first try? Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. Huh. Hyman I never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hu Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. 
So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. But speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? Ah, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed- Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, jean -Louis? Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know- What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Is that so? Hmm? <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Well, with the Traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other. That's right! She's got more friends than she knows what to do with! Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you just tell him the Palais Marmonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he has. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. Hey, uh, sounds like a pretty uptight sort of guy, all right. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. You're quite right, Miss Hutao. Oh? Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. Oh, <laughs> so polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. It's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get... Indeed. Then, Miss Farina... Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I... I don't... I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly! Jo Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside them an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. But, 
If you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. <laughs> Ladies, no, uh, I mean, friends, please take me with you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job. I prefer how things are now. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place. Only the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's fine. The next time you're in this neck of dim sum, is they are a part of it. It's basically a table. F oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. There's... Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed Chlorand is the one who didn't buy anything for her. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijween. Chlorand isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. They should all be things I can use. I think. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Neuvillette took them with him. Oh, so that's what... Wait, what? Why did he take them? Oh, he's not hoarding treasure, is he? <laughs> and Monsieur Neuvillette just saw the amount of bags we... I felt a bit bad at first. He even offered to deliver my gifts to the fortress. Neuvillette is a man of his word. See? Even Clorin, if even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as... Yes. Right, Zhang Li? Indeed. Clorin said Novala offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. So... But we don't know exactly when he'll show up. Stop right there! It's you. It has been some time since our last few people frequent this location. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Novelette? St 
Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so... Really? If you have so much time... Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to... Second, I was... I see. Thank you for informing me. Yes, they have been... <laughs> I have to hand it to... Just a simple gift to... I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive. Ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh? <laughs> Why? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. Ah, that explains it then. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is a stone slate. Well, that is an apt description. A legal codex, huh? Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information... Oh. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have sim... As a tribute to that sentiment, during my travels recently, we joked with Claran some time ago... Ah, so that... I did not expect you to remember... It is a very... I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. A gift of this significance deserves to be... Ah, oh, surely there's no... Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. But we do have a storage room. That sounds good. So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, the aftertaste is much purer than... If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply... Ha then we are of the same mind. If you say so, after all, you're... You're quite right. As a, however, after reading a few articles about seeing as I was free of responsibilities, refreshing. My take, for example, my foray into sir. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels. This is also some. That's a ladle. I'm on that was indeed one of my inspirations. Really, you like it? To tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival around such an important holiday such as this, human custom would... But I'm afraid, this is all I can offer. If that is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you... You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Hmm. Approve a leave of abs... That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self in... But... My proclivity to refrain from personal outing. But now I see that the human world is in... Yeah.